I'm going to show you guys the best optimizations for Chapter 7 that will boost FPS and reduce delay. But before that, I want to tell you about my new website where you can find our paid tweets like our ultimate service that is guaranteed to boost FPS and reduce delay. If you would like to check it out, it is in the second link in the description or you can just go to xnettweaks.com. This video is the longest on my channel, so let's just get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is click on the Windows icon and then switch up Epic Games Launcher. Once you're inside of here, you want to go into the library. You want to find the Fortnite game and then click on the three dots and then click on options. You want to disable high resolution textures and enable pre download stream assets. If you don't play Save the World, then please disable this too. Then you want to scroll down and disable all these languages if you don't speak them. And if you don't play Save the World, then your Fortnite installation options should look like this. Then all you have to do is click apply. Then you have to launch the game and go to your Fortnite settings. Once you're in your Fortnite settings, for your Windows mode, I recommend either having it on Windows full screen or full screen. Windows full screen does give you more delay but there is a tweak later on in the video that fixes this problem and you can alt tap and leave the game easily so i recommend having windows full screen on frame rate limit set it to your monitor's refresh rate for your rendering mode i recommend having it on legacy performance or performance these next five settings don't matter for your 3d resolution i recommend having it between 75 and 100 percent anything lower and your game is just gonna look so much worse for maybe a one fps boost view distance far as it barely reduces FPS and almost all pros plays are on far or epic. If your PC is extremely bad, I would maybe go to medium, but I would rarely ever go to near. But I personally like it on far, so I'm just gonna leave it at far. Textures low, mesh is low, and if you have a NVIDIA GPU, NVIDIA reflex low latency, you have this on on. Then you want to go to your sound settings. Want to make sure your sound quality is on low. Then you want to go to your game settings and find NVIDIA highlights and peripheral lighting and put these both on off. Then you want to scroll down and make sure all replays are off if you don't use them. Then all you have to do is click apply and exit out the program. Alright, next what you, all right, next what you want to do is you want to click on the window icon and go to your window settings. Once you're inside, you want to go into gaming tab. You go into game mode and make sure game mode is turned on. Then you want to go into graphics. You want to change default graphics and make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on. And if you play windowed full screen, make sure this is also on as this will make your latency way better. Then, next what you want to do is you want to join my Discord link in the description. And scroll down and you want to go to video resources. Once you're in video resources, you're going to see the exact video title. And you're going to see a zip file here. You want to download the zip file and extract it. Once you have it downloaded and extracted, the first thing you want to do is you want to double click on this cleanup storage. You want to open disk cleanup and it should bring up this thing right here. You want to make sure downloaded program files, temporary internet files, recycling bin temporary files thumbnails are the only things that on definitely make sure direct x shader cache is not turned on then all you have to do is click ok and then click delete files it should take a few minutes and once it's done it should instantly close just like that and then after it's done all you have to do is click on the back arrow and then the next thing we're going to be doing is disabling windows updates having updates adds bloatware and removes most tweaks so all you have to do is double click on this file it should ask to run as administrator just click yes and then all you have to do is click disable updates and make sure protect service settings are enabled and then just click apply now and then exit out then all you have to do is go back then what you want to do is you want to type windows r and then search for percent local app data percent you're gonna see this huge list of things here all you have to do is click on any of these files and then click f and then keep clicking it until you see fortnite game then you just want to double click on this file click on save config windows client and we're gonna see these game user settings right here what you want to do is you want to drag this inside of here it should say this right here and all you have to do is click replace the file in the destination and after you do that you should have the best settings for your game anyways once you put the game user settings in here all you have to do is exit out then next what you want to do is you want to go back and if you're on and if you're on amd please skip this step but if you're on the video all you have to do is double click on this file double click on the video profile inspector and make sure you click yes when it asks to run as administrator then all you have to do is drag this nip file into here this should say profile successfully imported just click ok and then click apply changes and exit out the program then what you want to do is you want to click on here search up nvidia control panel you want to go to adjust image settings for preview then you want to make sure use advanced 3d image settings is selected and then click apply then you want to go to configure surround physics and make sure this is on your gpu not your cpu or on auto select and then after that's done all you have to do is exit out this program after 
do to tweak your NVIDIA profile inspector settings, you want to go back into my Discord server, then you want to scroll down. You want to go to my free tweaking utility, and you want to just download this file right here. Once you have it installed, all you have to do is right click and run this as administrator. It should instantly bring you this tab, and what you want to do first is you want to type 1 and then click enter. Then you just want to press in the key to continue. 2 is GPU tweaks, and all you have to do is type 2 and then click enter. We only support AMD and NVIDIA, so if you're on Intel, please skip this step. But I'm personally on NVIDIA, so I'm going to type 2 and then click enter. If it says value exists, overwrite, say yes. You should automatically do the tweaks, and then you can just press any key to go back. 3 is CPU tweaks, and it should automatically do the tweaks. 4 is RAM tweaks, it should bring you into this tab, and what you want to do is you want to click on this window icon. Then it's just up task manager. Once you're inside of here, you want to click the performance tab, and then you want to go to memory. Whatever number is here, you want it to correlate with the number here. If your RAM is not on here, then please skip this step. I personally have 32 gigabytes, so I'm going to type 8. And then click enter. Then you just have to press any key to go back. Five is clean up, and it should just clean up your PC for any type of bloatware. Six is network tweaks, and it should automatically do the tweaks. This one may take a minute, so please just sit back and wait. Seven is storage tweaks, and it should automatically do the tweaks. Eight is input lag tweaks, and again, it should automatically do the tweaks. And nine is keyboard and mouse tweaks, and it should automatically do the Tweaks. Our new tweak, which is power tweaks, is 10, and it should automatically do the tweaks too. And before we continue, I want to let you guys know this is a watered down version of what we do in our manual servers. So if you're interested, all you have to do is type 11. It should instantly bring you to my website, and all you have to do is click on this projects tab. You're going to see my ultimate service, which may be pricey to some people. If you can't get it, it's okay, but if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.